this thumbnail is gonna be impossible. Oh no, oh no, no, no. Okay, Ooh, oh boy, bad idea, bad idea. Hello, hello everyone, my name is Laura and this is my channel, Laura's Little Library, and welcome to today's video, which is my continuathon TBR. So the Continuathon is a readathon that I am hosting at the beginning of April from April 2 to 15 with Jane from The Bookaholic and Hugo from The Scientist Reading World. I am so excited. This is the very first readathon that I have created and am hosting and I just cannot wait for it to get started. It is a readathon based around continuing and finishing series because I feel so many of us have so many series that we're in the middle of reading. And so this is just two weeks to set aside to focus on those. If you want more information about the readathon, including badges and more specific events that are happening, such as reading sprints, I'll go ahead and link our announcement videos down below and up above here somewhere. So you can go ahead and watch that if you would like more information. I've got some stacks of books here. It's going to be quite a lot. I'm also thinking that because I have so many books that I want to read for this readathon, but because it's only two weeks, this might also just be my April TBR, as in I'm not going to get to all these in the two weeks for the readathon. But I'm hoping that once I really get into reading all these series, I'm just going to keep going even once the readathon is done. So I might end up devoting all of April to the readathon, like two finishing series, minus like a book or two here or there after the readathon is done. So I won't be posting an April TBR, this is just going to suffice. The first ones on my priority that I'm going to read uh, probably like April 2, maybe even April 3 if it takes me that long, Spy X Family, I've got the last three, I've got the last three volumes here that I own and the anime is going to be coming out this summer. I have been saving these books for the readathon just so I can up my number, so these will count for continuing a series. I don't know if the sixth volume is the last one, I think it's just the last one that is out, so I won't be able to complete it, but I will definitely be continuing a series three times, which already gets me up to the second badge, so I I will be needing this, especially so I, oh, I will, I did mean to mention, I will be vlogging the two weeks, I'll probably have them in two videos, so like week one and week two. I will vlog the experience. I do have some plans the first weekend happening um, because it is Brennan's birthday and so I've got some fun surprises for him up my sleeve. So, which is also why like the readathon is like April 2 to 15 rather than 1 through 14. Uh, but yeah, so I will be starting off most likely with these. And then the second book that I will be getting to, I currently have as an audiobook, but I haven't started yet, and that will be The Crown's Fate by Evelyn Skye. I read The Crown's Game quite recently and I enjoyed it, and then I learned that it was actually a duology, so I went ahead and got the second book as an audiobook from the library. So I'm going to be completing a duology by reading The Crown's Fate, and I am pretty excited for it. This was not a series that I, like I started it very recently, like this past week, so I'm happy that I will be completing it and it won't be on the end of the year's video of series that I want to finish in 2023, uh, which a lot of these series here are most likely on that video, so if you're curious like what other series I have, whether I mention them here or not, I will hopefully be reading more of those. I will also have that video linked up above somewhere. This next one is the one that I want to take priority after I finish those first two, uh, but it's the one that scares me the most. Yeah, I think this one is going to finish the prompt for your oldest series, just because before this my oldest series was the Grishaverse, but I actually finished that, which was great. Um, it's going to scare me so much, but that is The Toll by Neil Schusterman. I loved the first two books in the Ark of the Scythe trilogy. Um, I like I enjoyed them so much that I put off reading this one because I didn't want it to end. Like I didn't want to be done with the world and with the characters. 
And then after a little bit, when I kind of recovered from the second one, I just didn't pick it up because of how chunky it is. And I need to get this done. I need to get this finished. So if I do end up finishing this, I will be able to do a uh, complete a trilogy. But like, this is the third highest on my priority. I just fear that it's going to take up the majority of the two weeks. That is my biggest fear. So we'll just have to see. Hopefully that won't be the case. But yeah, this is this is what sparked the need for this readathon because I knew that unless I had a specific push to read this book specifically, I just might never read it. So this is this is the one. This is this is it. And the next book I'm going to talk about is going to be an interesting one because I don't talk about this series a lot, but I believe this is the longest series that I have on here. It's it's one of two series that are the longest. They're actually the same length. Um, I will only be able to accomplish one of these as my longest series because, you know, I can't have two series that are the longest. So I'm just going to have to choose whichever one, and I'm going to choose whichever one I actually finish. Um, but that is Unravel Me by Tahara Mafi. So I read Shatter Me two years ago, and I liked it a lot. The issue was, is I read it as an audiobook, and I don't like switching my style of reading partway through a series. So I wanted to pick up Unravel Me as an audiobook, but none of the libraries had it as an audiobook. So I've been putting this off because I just, I didn't want to read it in a different format. But I think it's been so long that it's, it's not going to matter. But the other issue is that I don't know if I remember the ending of Shatter Me. I remember the premise in like up to the first half and I remember the three main characters. But, so I might have to either read a spark notes or I honestly might have to reread Shatter Me in order to read Unravel Me. So they would still be able to complete prompts if I did that. But I'd be kind of sad if I have to reread Shatter Me. Just because it's only two weeks long, I want to make as much progress as possible, and I feel like rereading it isn't making progress. I mean, it is. It totally is. But, like, I have other series that I want to just progress in, so... And plus, this might be a fun, like, reading vlog, but I would want to get the rest of the books, too. Like, that's the other thing, is this is the only book that I own. I don't own Shatter Me, and I don't own the rest of the trilogy or the books following. That's the issue here. The series that would compete with it with being my longest series is The School for Good and Evil. So I actually got the audiobook for the second one, which this is the second one that I'm holding up. And I actually already read it. I had no patience and I just wanted to get it read. So I will be needing the third book if I can get the audiobook for the third work book or get it from the library. That would be great. Again, there's a movie adaptation for it coming out this summer, so that's why that is my driving force to keep reading this series. Um, this, very much like Shadow Me, there is an original trilogy, and then there is another trilogy after it that kind of makes it six books, because like we're still following the same characters, but there's this like divide between the setting for the first three books versus the setting of the last three books, so it's two trilogies smushed into like a six book series, so it's a little complicated, but that's why this one might also be in competition for my longest series. So I'm definitely not going to be able to read more books in the two weeks, but I'm going to put more books on this TBR just in case something magical happens, but also because I want to be able to pick and choose. I am a mood reader, so I don't want to have to like, I have to read this specific book next. You know, once I get past the first three that I really want to read. Um, so I will be putting way too many books on this TBR just so that I can choose between them. The next series that I am reading is The Hunt of the Grimalkin by Danny Swanson. I read the first one, The Hunt of the Grimalkin, uh, last spooky season, I believe. And I, I liked it. I had a bit of a rough time with it. I liked the ideas behind it. But I've been told that the series gets better. It's a trilogy plus a companion novel, um, a standalone companion. I own the trilogy and the companion novel, but I'm going to count it as like a series. So I need to read the second one, Lily Quinn and the Grimalkin. 
Um, and these are pretty short books, so I'm hoping that I can actually just like get through the trilogy plus the companion, which is the Circle of Owls. So these I think are pretty doable if I'm in the mood. Like I read Hunt of the Grimalkin in essentially one sitting, like one reading session I finished it. So I think there's a pretty good chance I just need to be able to sit down and read them. And then the last trilogy that I physically own is the Darker Powers trilogy. So I read, I read The Summoning last spooky season during my ghost reading vlog um, because this deals with our main character who can see ghosts. I just realized I haven't given a description of any of these books, so I'm sorry, but it's kind of too late for that. Um, so I read The Summoning, and then there are two more books in the trilogy. I would love to continue the trilogy. If I don't finish them now, I'll probably read them during spooky season, but I do want to read them before I forget what happened in the first book. So I'll be reading The Reckoning and then The Awakening. There are like two more series that I, if I can get access to the next books, I want to read them. So the first is the Wayward Children series. I read the first three books. I own the first two. Why don't I? The Wayward Children series, Every Heart a Doorway, Down Among the Sticks and Bones, and then Beneath the Shigri Sky. I did read that one as well. Um, so I would love to read the fourth one, and I believe the sixth book for that one also just came out, so theoretically it could also challenge the other series for being my longest. Um, again, whichever one I end up reading is the one that I'm going to count for that prompt. Yeah, because you cannot double up on prompts. I can't do longest series and continuous series. I can't double up like that. But anyway. So I would love to keep reading the Wayward Children series. The final series that I'm putting on my TBR for the Continuathon is a is another trilogy. I do, I read a lot of trilogies. Um, so I own the first one, Alive, by Scott Sigler. It's the Generations trilogy. I read the first one. I have the second one, A Light, from the library as an ebook on my Kindle. So I need to charge that thing up and read it. But this was another series that I kind of looked at it and I thought, you know, I want to continue reading the series like I want to finish the trilogy but I need a push to do so like it's it's one that I was interested in because there was a massive twist ending but it wasn't anything that I was super hyped about it, like my curiosity is peaked but I'm not super motivated so again I'm using this readathon to motivate me to make progress in this trilogy hopefully finish it that would be great but uh there are plenty of books here that I would love to finish so see but yeah so this is another sci-fi series that's the other thing is I don't really read a lot of sci-fi um so that's why I haven't been gravitating towards the series again because I'm much more of a fantasy reader plus I also want to finish reading this trilogy so that I know if I want to buy the rest of the books in the trilogy or if I want to donate this one that's the other point <laughs> so I'm not gonna buy them so I have it as an ebook which it's my only ebook at the moment because I just don't read a lot of ebooks. Like I have a Kindle and it's very nice and I love it. But I prefer physical books. But it'll be good for travel and whatnot. So yes. I have how many series? I've got like nine or ten series on this TBR. And for some of them it's not just the next book in the series, it's the entire series. <laughs> So I've got nine or ten different series that I want to finish in two weeks. That's not going to be possible, but it's going to be fun watching me try, that's for sure. So thank you all so much for watching. Like I said, if you want more information, uh, the announcement video will be linked down below and those do have links to the Google Docs with all the prompts and the badges and whatnot. So yeah, be sure to check that out. Otherwise, subscribe down below. I post videos on Sundays and Wednesdays. I have a bunch of other bookish social media link down below that you can follow me there to get more reading updates and to chat with me about some of your favorite books. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Let me know in the comments below if there are any series that you want to read and if you're participating in Continuathon. There's no official like sign up or anything. You can just kind of join in whenever you're ready during the times that, like I said, we'll have reading sprints and then you can start earning badges. Comment down below what series you'll be reading or hopefully finishing. But 
Other than that, I didn't say what my shortest series was. One of the prompts is shortest series, but that is the Crown's game and the Crown's fate, because that is a duology. But again, they won't be doubling up, so yeah. Anyway, thank you all again so much for watching, and until I see you all in the next video, I wish you happy reading!